I mean, I didn't mean to delete the whole video, but I just deleted the whole video. And I did. Okay, so um, I realized this is the same video as last, the um, same day as the last video. So I was going through my papers that the doctors gave me on amplified musculoskeletal pain syndrome or RMD. I was just skimming through it, which I had done. It's four pages long, so I wasn't going to read the whole thing. Because she pretty much told me all, I thought. But, apparently not. So, you know, just looking through. La la la. La la la. Got to the last page. And I found this paragraph right here. And it's, if psychological stress is a cause of RMD for your RMD. I'm going to read that paragraph in a second. First of all, I'm going to backtrack. Backtrack. Back to the beginning of December ish, I guess. I'm not sure exactly when it started. Maybe November. I don't know. Okay. So, I was reading, just reading a book. I was, the font was really small, and I didn't have my glasses on, I wear glasses, yeah, I don't wear my glasses, I mean, I have glasses, I don't wear them, so the font was really small, so it was like this, trying to read it, and my eyes went up on the top of my head, and my eyes started uncontrollably blinking, and, um, I, um, I thought I was my eyes were just trying to focus. Sorry, I lost my train of memory. I mean, my train of thought. Um, I thought my eyes were just trying to focus. Um, so I just pushed it off. I was just like, you know, whatever. This happens to everyone. You know, this has happened before. It, it has happened. I, it happened once a month for the past year or two. And I was just like, Okay, whatever. Okay, it happened happen. It would happen about once, once a day for about a week. Then it would happen a few times a day, maybe four times. Yeah, it would happen around four times a day, every day, for the rest of the weeks to come, until December, until the middle of December, around December twentieth, I think. And um. I went to my neurologist, and I was just like, hey, guess what, um, my eyes, yeah, they, um, they go up on the top of my head, and I uncontrollably blink, do you think I'm going crazy, I thought maybe I was going crazy, too, I thought maybe I'm thinking on me, I, I don't know, with everything going on, I was just like, you know, I don't need another problem, it's probably just me doing it, I'm probably just making myself do it, so then he said, well, you're at that age, when you can start have seizures, having seizures, you can start to have seizures, and I was just like, really, because my brother has epilepsy, and I've never seen him do that, I mean, not alone, I mean, he's had convulsions, or stared out, blankly, but he's never, like, just had his eyes freak out, but, um, he was like, yeah, it can happen, um, so I was like, okay, whatever. I, I didn't want to tell anyone that because that wasn't an actual diagnosis, a diagnosis. That was just the beginning of a thought process and to keep track of it. And so I watched it for the rest of the time. I'm losing my voice. And um, it stayed with me. And I kept on losing. I, I, <laughs> I kept on my eyes kept on doing it over and over again and um oh I it was this it wasn't more or less it was the same amount it, I was just like okay whatever maybe I do I don't know so then it sort of became a pattern for me I I just was like okay it's a thing that happens to me now whatever Then, 
I got diagnosed with this, and I didn't even mention it. I didn't even think about it. She didn't even mention it. Okay, to today. Skimming through it, found this paragraph. If psychological stress is a cause of RND, we have seen children subsequently develop a wide variety of other psychologically driven di disorders such as anorexia nervosa, bulimia, other amplified pain syndromes such as abdominal pain, headache, eye pain, sense pain, tooth pain, cedo seizures, I thought it was cedo, Uncontrol uncontrollable shaking or muscle spasms, suicide attempts, and con conversion reactions. In a conversion reaction, the body converts 